Welcome to 13 Hour Time 62 Lego Media Reviews. This is a special media review of the Toa Hodeck Gun Mask. This is the voice turner mask, in fact. Set number. Hang on, I gotta find the. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm holding a camera and holding the mask changer and. Set number 20486, Rodeco Vakama Voice Changer Mask. It was available in 2005 as an exclusive. I don't know where I got it from originally, because this was um, given to me as a gift. I would assume it's from Toys R Us. Let's take a closer look at the mask now. So here you can see the mask better. This is this is an exact replica of Toro Dicka Mask from Vakama. This is at the time in Bionicle where there were um, Hordika figures. Toro Hordika figures, if you're familiar with the Bionicle line. And it comes with this little, this little icon. You can clip it onto a shirt or a, or a belt loop, And you can change your voice with it, you can make voices, um, let me see, you can make echoes, it's a little hard to see through the mask, so just give me a sec while I try to find the buttons. This changes the kind of voice that you have, this is, um, the echo, and then we got, I don't, I don't know high frequency, Let's just change it to that. There we go, I'll check the mail of this. Hello, hello, hello again. Go back to that. Um, I'm trying to see the buttons here. Work with me. There is an on and off button on here. There's also a try me. Um, from when this was available in packages, you could try it in the store without opening the package. It's a lot of evil laughs for some reason, even though Toa Vakala is not evil. He's not. I think that's the only one that makes. Let's try another button. Let's see what this does. Oh, this is the echo button. You can tell it's an echo. Yeah, I think this one's the echo button. This changes the voice. This is the left, and this is the on and off. There's also an on and off on the back. You can see there. So, you know, you can attach it somewhere, walk around with the mask, and change your voice. The inside of the mask, there's nothing to it. Um, they do have a small microphone built into it. And it's, uh, it actually fits my head pretty well. And, you know, and like I said before, the vision's a little bit blurry because they try to make it translucent, try to make it work with the, uh, the shape of the mask. So, it's a little bit hard to see outside of the mask, but still, you can see. Which helps. The, the lights are not in the way of it, either. They're just on the very sides of my vision. Let's see if we can try to do more voices. I hope you can hear me clearly through this, because this is very, uh... It sounds a bit fuzzy. So there we have different voices um, produce different laughs. Let's try another. Let's try this. So they basically have the same laugh done at different pitches and frequencies, I think. Whatever the term may be. But it sounds like very similar. I think we went through that. I think we went through all of them now. Now, this is no longer available. Let me shut this off. Now you can hear my real voice. So, this is no longer available. As I said, it's available only in 2005. Um, 
it's very hard to research online. I've tried to do it a couple times and not many results came up. You can find the article about it to Wikipedia, um, but there's not really much that I haven't told you, you know, that's on there. They just say, this is available. It doesn't say when or, I mean, it says 2005, but it doesn't say where. Um, so there's not much beyond that for the article. It shows a picture of what it used to look like in the package. And uh, let's see what else. There, there was an eBay link to somebody who was selling it for eleven ninety nine, but that already ended. Somebody already bought it, and you know you can't get it at that point. So keep looking around online. Somebody has to buy it somewhere. I know there are also very few other reviews of this, so that's why I wanted to try this as a media review because it's a cool item. Um, it, it was cool to play with when I first got it. And it's still fun to wear, you know. I can still wear it now. And I've grown since then. Um, but, you know, it, it was kinda, it's kind of neat. It's something I haven't seen a lot from LEGO. And it was, you know, nice to play with. The voices, I think, were a little bit tacky. Because it was a little bit fuzzy. And, um, and the laugh, I didn't get it at all. Because a lot of the laughs, it, it sounded evil, of course. Which doesn't coordinate with the character um, from the Bionicle series. So thanks for watching this media review, hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time. Here's just a quick look at the very end of everything you see. Here's the inside of the mask, you can adjust this so it's nice and tight on your head. It's not too heavy, um, it's also very soft.